Hey guys, today I'm going to tell you about the process of etching calcite, how it's done and why it's done. <laughs> Lots of calcite. One mini spider. Here is a great example of calcite dipped in acid. You can find such stones in many uh, crystal shops around the world, um, at airports, uh, gift shops, everywhere. People buy it because they are nice, they look great, uh, they look like candy in fact. Um, so you can display it on your shelf and you can also use it for crystal healing. Here is an Irish example of an acid deep calcite. This stone comes from the place where, where I live and it's called Mallow in County Cork. Uh, you can see the surface of the stone is nice and smooth. Why did I dip it in, in acid? Because some of you think it's better for meditation. You cannot hurt yourself when you are rubbing the stones. It's very smooth. You can compare the acid washed um, calcite with the natural one. Here are three examples. You can see the surface is rough. This one is yellow. And then this one is almost clear. They all come from the same place. The second reason why people etch calcites out of rocks is to reveal crystals that can be hidden inside. For example, here is a rock that I just recently found. It's in fact a massive um, piece of quartz. But you can see the small yellow veins of calcite filling the cracks in the rock. And also the, uh, the brown color is sphalerite. So I'm going to dip this rock in acid one day, um, edge the calcite from the rock and uh, hope that it will reveal some beautiful sphalerite crystals. Now that you know why it's done, I'm going to show you how it's done. Enjoy! Okay, so what I'm doing now is um, I'm going to put calcite into acid. This is the acid. H-C-I, right? And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fizz the, ace, uh, the calcite so it has a um, smooth surface and it looks better. So I put them one by one. They start to fizz. I've um, used one liter of acid and two liters of water to do this. You have to do it in a um, plastic bowl because metal would get rusty. You need to be careful not to inhale the acid. It will sting your nose. It won't do any harm, but it's just not a nice feeling. So I put a few pieces inside. I'm taking the smaller one now. No. I'm using a wooden <laughs> spoon for cooking because I don't have um, anything else to take it out but you can use um, some plastic um, tools or you can even use um, rubber gloves I don't have any for the moment 
here I have um, some already done pieces. Okay, so my calcite has been fizzing for a few minutes now, uh, like maybe four minutes. I'm going to see what it looks like. Yes, honey. Yes, it's already quite smooth. I'll just leave it for another minute. And meanwhile, I'll show you some pieces that um, I have already fixed. So I take the big one, because you will see it better. Um, as you can see, the surface of the calcite is smooth now. Like before, it was rough. I'll show you. This is an unfist piece and this is fist. You can see this one is smooth. I'm not going to hurt my um, hands by rubbing it. I'm not going to cut myself. Whereas this one is rough. I can easily crumb myself on the um, edges. I'm not going to do it, of course. See? Very rough. So basically I'm doing this to smoothen the surface of the calcite just to make it look nicer and maybe for you guys who like um, displaying the pieces or meditating with them, maybe he, um, using them for crystal healing, it's going to be better because you're not going to cut your hands or your body by uh, handling them. Now I'm going to take out the pieces that I'm still fizzing. I'm still trying not to inhale the acid and I put them into water just to get rid of the acid. I'll take one of them now to show you. Beautiful, smooth. Clean and smooth and beautiful. Going to take out the rest of them. This one is actually a beautiful piece, it's quite clear. Very nice piece. You'll be able to buy it in my shop later on. The link to my shop you'll find um, below the video. This calcite comes from Mallow in County Cork, Ireland. I'm going to re repeat the process with the rest of the calcite that I have here. All this um, dirty, all the dirty um, um, areas on the calcite are going to be fizzed nicely and they will be clean. Unless it's an inclusion. Host rock maybe. Then it's not going to be fixed. I'll show you this one. This one has a piece of host rock on it. I love this one because um, it's pretty clear. Beautiful one. Okay, guys. I'll show you some more later on. Okay, so there is another portion of my calcite still fizzing. Some already done. And I'll show you if I wanted to have um, even a deeper effect, like a very smooth piece of calcite, then I would use more acid. This one I bought, this one is from Mexico, and you can see the surface is very smooth, you don't have any edges at all. Um, this is what happens when you use more acid compared to my piece, which is still quite edgy, but already smooth. So if you want this effect, you need to use more acid. This is my sister, my best collecting partner. We always go collecting together. So basically she digged up all the stuff. 
maybe I'll add some photos to the uh, movie to show the collecting site if I find out how to do this <laughs> So anyway, wanted to show you that um, the acid is not working anymore. What happened is um, the acid absorbed the um, dissolved calcite and it's simply not very active anymore. I'm going to try to put a few pieces more and just leave them overnight. I'm hoping that maybe they will fizz a bit, they will smoothen, uh, but I don't think so. And also Claudia loves this piece because it's almost clear. It's almost like, almost like Iceland Spa. Almost. Well, still not, yeah, but it's the clearest from all the ones that we have here. So this one I'm keeping for myself. <laughs> it's going to my collection. Not your collection, what? my collection. Excuse me. Excuse me, you wanted I that one. I pushed it out. <laughs> you wanted that one. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed my first video. Stay tuned for more, bye!